Meantime, of course, this is a big year for the Aztecs football team. They had a great season last year and are opening a brand new stadium this year. But right now, these rape allegations are the biggest news connected to the program. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez continues our team coverage, joining us live from Snapdragon Stadium and shares what SDSU students have to say about the accusations. Jasmine. Well, many of the students tell me that they're upset with how the school has handled these allegations. They want to see more action and more transparency. We have been getting emails and we've just heard rumors. They haven't really like us kind of like called it out or anything. They just like been kind of very vague. Many wish the school would have initiated its own investigation immediately. And it was being talked about all over campus and I heard mainly how people were not happy with how it was being handled, myself included. I wish action was taken sooner. Spencer and Luke described their reaction when news about the allegations broke this summer. I remember when that first article came out, everyone, including us, were completely outraged because it was hidden by athletics and hidden yeah. by our university president. Um, it seemed like it was shoved under the rug. It was completely kept under wraps so our football team could continue having our season. SDSU says an inquiry into the teen's claim from last October wasn't opened immediately because it wanted to protect the investigation by San Diego police. On August 1st, SDSU announced it launched an inquiry into the allegations. Meantime, some people I spoke with tonight believe the school will use the new $310 million stadium to overshadow the headlines away from the field. Um, with the new stadium and everything, I'm, I'm sure that the school will be trying to promote that instead, obviously. Yeah. The athletics are the most funded aspect of this school, so I think that is a large contributor to how discreet it's been. And I don't think that this is really going to have any impact on the athletic season or anything like that. And we did reach out to the university tonight. The university says that it can't release any specific details as its independent investigation remains active.